Welcome to the Weekly Dose Podcast, your one-stop shop for the weekly news in incretin mimetic therapies with your host, Man on the Majaro, Dave Knapp. Welcome to this special edition of the Weekly Dose Podcast. I'm your host, Dave Knapp, Man on the Manjaro. That's why I'm here. You are on the pen. Wigobi Sex and Victoza Trulicity Manjaro Zetbound, that pen. That's what we talk about here on the Weekly Dose. And I thought that this topic was specifically fitting of a special sort of episode of the podcast. Now, we recently received some very interesting findings from the Trizepatide Synergy NASH trials. Now, NASH is a condition that's now known as MASH with an M, but NASH was known as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. And it's a serious liver disease that ultimately leads to progression, right? As, as the scarring takes place in the liver because of the accumulation of fat, ultimately it can lead to cirrhosis. Now we are talking about a very serious liver disease. So this is going to be a great episode to share with any of your friends who uh, you are aware of that struggle, struggle with liver issues, whether it is fatty liver disease or MASH or even severe fibrosis because this is really uh, really encouraging news for, for a condition that once was sort of a hopeless situation. Once, uh, once fibrosis starts to take place in the liver, it was thought for the longest time that that was irreversible. That's when fatty deposits really start to cause scarring on the liver, and that scarring ultimately leads to cirrhosis. That scarring is known as uh, fibrosis, and fibrosis can be reversed with these medications. And we're going to get into the key outcomes that we got from this study because this is really exciting news. Now, of course, there's similar results uh, that we have for retitrutide, the phase three uh, GLP-1, GIP glucagon candidate from Eli Lilly as well. But that's not to be um, overshadowed by what we learned from the terzepatide trials. Of course, terzepatide already on the market in the form of Zepbound for chronic weight management and Manjaro for type 2 diabetes. So let's get into what we learned. So we're basically looking at two outcomes. We're looking at the resolution of MASH, MASH which is that, you know, the fatty accumulation around the liver. And we're looking at fibrosis, which is scarring caused by that accumulation. So MASH resolution, let's talk about what happened. So uh, for those on placebo, only 13.2% of participants showed MASH resolution without fibrosis worsening, uh, only 13.2%. So these are people who are on a strict diet, uh, but we're not, uh, we're not on terzepatide. Now looking at the terzepatide group, and you're going to notice how dependent the outcomes were on the dosing schedule, right? So at five milligrams, 51.8 people per achieved MASH resolution without any worsening of their fibrosis. At 10 milligrams, 62.8% of people achieved the same outcome. And then at 15 milligrams, 73% achieved this outcome. Again, that is resolution of that MASH without worsening of fibrosis. So you can see that at 5, 10, and 15 milligrams of doses tested, it was very dependent on the dose you were on, what sort of resolution you saw of your MASH was. Now, taking a look at fibrosis, again, this is, this is the actual scarring that takes place in the liver that can ultimately lead to cirrhosis. So we're talking about what once was thought to be impossible. Fibrosis improvement without worsening of MASH. So on placebo, uh, they were able to achieve 32.8% uh, who saw a stage one or greater improvement in fibrosis. Now look at the dose, uh, the doses here and what people achieved for fibrosis improvement. Again, this is a greater than one stage improvement in fibrosis. At five milligrams, 59% saw improvement. At 10 milligrams, 53% saw improvement. And at 15 milligrams, 54% saw improvement. So this is a less dose dependent, uh, it seems, uh, outcome. 
where you see sort of similar results, whether you're on the five or the 15 milligram uh, dose, where you see, uh, you know, that improvement of fibrosis uh, in that 50 to 60% range, which is just an outstanding outcome for those who uh, struggle with um, fibrosis, with MASH, once a very bleak sort of uh, diagnosis to get and this is really, really positive news. Now, additionally, participants taking terzepatide also experience vast improvements in body weight. I don't think that that's probably a surprise to anyone. Blood markers of liver injury. So there, there's en enzymes that are essentially produced in the liver uh, in response to damaged ALT and AST. Uh, and so there was improvements in blood markers, as well as biomarkers of liver fat, inflammation, and fibrosis. So a lot of really positive uh, outcomes from the blood work side of things too, obviously, which you would expect. Now, these are insane, insane data points when you talk about the treatment of liver disease. And it seems like what we're seeing across, across multiple comorbidities associated with type 2 diabetes, obesity, metabolic disease, that this class of medications has the ability to change the entire landscape of, of the treatment and how we go about treating frontline uh, on the front lines, the diseases of the liver. And so this is really positive news. I would really encourage that you share this video with anyone you know, again, who has fatty liver disease or is looking at a recent diagnosis uh, like this. It's not, you know, often something people share, as far as you know their health goes but if you are aware of somebody this is such encouraging news i myself have fatty liver disease uh, we'll be getting uh, some blood work up again uh, in the near future to see how my body is responding to these medications but this is really really positive out, uh, out positive outcome and we will see uh, more uh, data points over the next couple of years on these trials and obviously, we'll have more information on retitrutide, which seems to be even better, adding the glucagon component to the treatment of fatty liver. So I thank you for being here. Thank you for being the best part of what we do. If you enjoyed this, please, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like, hit that bell, hit that sub. If you are catching this on the podcast, please consider giving the podcast a five-star rating and review. It makes all the difference in the world in the ability for the podcast to get out to, to the rest of the world. And until next time, we'll see you next time on the pen.